And it's been 50 years since they lost their brother in Vietnam. Still today, the Wise Broad sisters still feel the pain of war. Austin Love joins us now with their story and how they are continuing to honor their brother and other fallen heroes. Yeah, of course. Good morning, Maureen and Dave. When John Weisbrod was killed in Vietnam, the Weisbrod sisters were told to never talk about him, almost act as if he never existed. Today, that has all changed, and they're now sharing their story as they honor their brother and other victims of war. John, he was special. He was really special. The memories they have of their brother are fond. Kind, intelligent, um, always thought of others. He was movie star handsome. He really was. Being in the military was something that he always dreamed of doing. He always wanted to fight for his country. John Weisbro did fight for his country, serving in Vietnam. Nancy, Pat, and Jody remember the anxiety they felt when they were just kids and if they would ever see their brother again. Every single night the TV was on, we watched to see how many casualties there were that day and, and prayed that it would not be John. John fought and died for our country. It was a very sad, sad time. 50 years later, the memories of their brother remain fond, but the hurt continues to run deep. It ruined my childhood. It was awful. It was just, that was the end of our childhood. They were ordered not to talk about John. Pictures were stripped from their home. After they told us, away, take everything down, take everything every, down, as if he don't talk about him. wasn't ever there. What was there? The pain that filled their hearts and the hearts of their parents. Mom passed away at 48 from a heart attack and dad passed away at 57. I truly believe that my mom especially died of a broken heart. Oh yeah. While John is gone, his legacy continues to live. The picture that was once not allowed to be shown in their home now is proudly on display at Perry High School. He and other fallen alumni are memorialized forever at the school, recognizing their sacrifice and giving a piece of closure to families who lost everything. He counted, they all counted. That they were there for a reason, whether you believed in that war or not, they were dedicated. Well, after his death, John was honored with the Purple Heart. And if you'd like to donate to the Veterans Memorial at Perry High School, you have the opportunity to head to our website, WKYC.com, for more details.